Hey, JCT, you've got Jake, Danny, and Brad Pinchuk of Hurstbox sitting here. Um, it is the morning of April 20th. Just coming to you. It's been a little while since we've, we've had a recording, so we wanted to get out there and, and uh, get some information out to you guys. As we've inched closer to the transaction closing between Hurstbach and JCT, um, Danny and Brad just wanted to pro- provide some updates, and I'll turn it over to them. Thank you, Jake. Yeah, I'm glad to have Brad here today. And, uh, you know, first thing, and not, not to go backwards, but as we said here, you know, and you mentioned April of 22, and I look back two years ago and what we were doing in April of 20, and how extraordinary times those were and um, you know I still just am amazed at the drivers and what you guys have been through what we've all been through as a company and society and even today there's still some things lingering around from the effects of the pandemic I know part supplies are challenged the supply chain is um, you know constrained in certain areas but we're starting to see some return to normalcy and uh, thank God you know so just always want to, you know, never forget what we went through and how, especially in the temp controlled space with hauling food like we do, um, you know, we literally fed the country when, you know, things like shelter in place and other stuff was coming up, uh, along, which we'd never seen or heard before. So let's hope that we look back in time as that is a period that uh, we'll never repeat. But anyway, bring us up to the future. Um, you know, we're positioned really well, as Jake mentioned, um, we're closer to um, closing the transaction with um, Hirschbach being acquired by Hirschbach by the end of the month. And one of the first things I want to touch on is the driver retention bonus we talked about, which will be paid a couple weeks after closing, which is going to be $1,000 to all the dra- drivers that are um, leased on or employed here through closing. So look for, look for that coming soon. And then, you know, the other thing is just as we referenced before, really what we want to do is we want to message to you about you know, how the two companies coming together is going to be a collaborative effort and find synergies and opportunities, but you're really not going to see, you know, a a ton of change, certainly not any negative change. And um, we've mentioned that in our previous correspondence and and now we're we're living that and we're following through on what we said. And, um, you know, we're, we're talking about ways that we can bring the networks together and collaborate. Just for example, today, Brad and I are headed to Atlanta to see one of our biggest and best customers, the Coca-Cola companies. And uh, Hirschbach doesn't do any business with Coca-Cola, but will soon. And um, today we're going to be making an intro, one, to review the business that JCT does, but also to introduce them, Hirschbach, to the Coca-Cola team. And they're excited about how we can find opportunities there. So that's just one example. And I know Brad's got some other stuff to touch on and add, so I'll kind of let him chime in here. Okay. Well, thanks, Danny. And uh, uh, it's uh, great to be uh soon a part of the JCT family. So I want to uh, congratulate uh, you, Danny, and your family for building such a wonderful organization. Uh, I want to thank, uh, like like Danny did, thank all the drivers out there. I'm a proud CDL holder. Uh, I love what we do. Uh, Danny mentioned we feed the country during the pandemic. I mean, I take a lot of pride in that, uh, and I'm sure all of you do as well. I mean, um, you know, this is certainly the greatest country that's ever existed, and we play a vital part in feeding, uh, feeding this nation. And, uh, again, I want to thank all of you for the hard work that you do out there. The job's not easy. Uh, we very much appreciate uh, the job that you do. Uh, we appreciate our drivers at Hirschbach and, and looking forward to having all of you uh, join, the, join the family here. Um, you know, it, you know, Danny mentioned change. You know, there are changes. Obviously, change is inevi- inevitable in life. And uh, we're working real hard to make sure that, you know, we don't mess anything up. Uh, You guys uh, are running a great organization. You guys, uh, you've got a great leader here in in Danny, and you guys are doing some wonderful things out there in the marketplace. And so the last thing I want to do is come in and and screw things up. So, you know, we're going to run JCT as a... Uh, a sister company, if you will, to Hirschbach. It'll be running, uh, you know, side by side. And uh, we're going to try and uh, work real hard to learn from each other. There's going to be best practices. There's things that JCT is doing that uh, are going to benefit Hirschbach and vice versa. It's not just in sharing customers. You know, Danny mentioned, uh, you know, Coke. Uh, and he made me dress up today a little bit to go see Coke. <laughs> usually, usually I'm not this fancy. Uh, you know, in the office, but um, there's certainly opportunities with customers and there's opportunities, you know, buying power, for example, uh, being able to buy fuel at cheaper prices, um, being able to buy tires, you know, things like that, trucks, trailers, you know, being part of an organization uh, gives us some uh, better buying power. Uh, Hirschbach is, uh, we have about 2,500 drivers and 2,200 trucks today. 
And so we have some pretty significant buying power, but we'll have even more buying power when these two organizations come together and we've got, you know, 3,000 trucks uh, out there and 5,000 trailers, for example. Um, you know, that'll put Hirschbach uh, combined, the organization, we're going to be, you know, one of the largest uh, temperature control carriers, probably right there at, at number two. And I don't want that to scare anyone. You know, a lot of people get uh, scared about, uh, oh, this big company, I'm going to get lost, I'm going to become a number. Uh, you'll find at Hirschbach with our 2,500 drivers that it very much, the feel, you know, the feedback that I get from a lot of drivers that come to Hirschbach and even drivers that come from companies that are much smaller than us, one of the best compliments that I hear on a regular basis is that it, it feels like uh, a small company. And so we, we carve our company up into different sections, even at Hirschbach. You know, we have an over-the-road section, we have a dedicated section, on-site spotting, so we have different things that we do for our customers. And the JCT, you know, I couldn't be more happy to have JCT come together with Hirschbach if I had to find one partner out there to find in the industry that would be the best fit with Hirschbach. JCT is that company. Um, and it's that company for, uh, for a few reasons. Um, if you look at it strategically, Hirschbach really doesn't service the west coast of this country. JCT, that's what you guys do. Yep. You specialize in servicing the west coast. Uh, you know, Hirschbach is very, very dense east of the Rocky Mountains. And when you put these two great companies together, you know, they fit together like a couple of jigsaw puzzles. It really does. And so from that standpoint, it's a great fit. Hirschbach does not offer um, logistics uh, uh, third party to, uh, to our customers, really. JCT does. So that's uh, an opportunity for us. And I know that provides a great benefit to the drivers in that you're able to, to book a lot more freight than what you can handle. And if you need freight for the trucking, you can always pull, pull in from the logistics side. Uh, we don't have that uh, luxury at, at Hirschbach, and so we're looking forward to building that. So that's another really nice fit. Um, and then culturally, I'll just tell you, you know, walking around here in Sepulpa and the office here where we are today or being down at the Fort Worth office, you know, it very much feels to me like I'm at a Hirschbach facility. Um, you know, just, you know, hardworking people that care about what they're doing and, um, you know, are committed uh, to, to just doing a great job. And they're good people, good people that care about taking care of their drivers, good people that care about taking care of their customers and taking care of each other. And so, you know, I couldn't be happier to, uh, to really be a part of this, uh, you know, growing organization. And, uh, um, you know, some of you might be uh, old enough to remember, I think probably you may, maybe a lot of you are, um, you know, Y2K. You know, back uh, when it was turning to 2000 and everyone had a bunch of anxiety relating to, you know, what's going to happen? The elevators are going to stop working. You know, the computer, <laughs> the lights aren't going to work, you know, so on and so forth. And so there was all this uh, uh, anxiety going up to <laughs> Y2K. And then the, the day happened and it was like it was, it was a non-event. It was a non-event. <laughs> nothing changed. And so, you know, the closing is officially going to happen uh, next Friday, April 29th. Right. And uh, I would expect uh, that's going to be like Y2K, where uh, you guys are going to keep doing the same things you're doing. You're going to be, you know, uh, there's really nothing that's going to change uh, to anyone at JCT uh, after closing. And Danny and I are committed to uh, making sure that whatever changes we make moving forward are going to be healthy changes that are going to be good ones, that are going to benefit the organization, you know, the team members that make up the organization. Uh, the customers and you know we're just you know we're, we'll take things slowly uh, you know nothing's broken here and so we're not going to come in and and, and 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 make any big changes here so Brad thank you so much for the input and the and the words it means it a, a ton and yeah I believe we're thankful for you your belief in our organization and our brand and our culture and we're already seeing you know I, I see on the Facebook page the JCT Hirschbach independent contractors page okay. I see a lot of interaction guys cool. reaching out and helping each other Good. so the two companies are already coming together culturally and collaboratively yeah. and yeah in this industry and and being out on the road and doing what we do you, you need that support system and what we've done is we've just taken two families Families and brought them together and made even one larger, more um, aligned family. So it's re really exciting and really fun. Yeah. And I know that we're uh, very grateful to be uh, aligned with a, a great company and organization and leader like yourself. 
Well, I think it's going to be a wonderful marriage, a, a Brady Bunch of sorts. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Date, date myself a little bit there as well. Well, and as we know, people got to eat, right? So the, the, the freight and the, yeah. the demand for our services will continue to grow and we'll continue to invest in the, the resources and the people and the programs to be successful. Yeah, absolutely. You're right. People got to eat. Thanks, everybody. Stay safe out there. We'll talk again soon.